So the biggest finding we saw is that uh, spending on home improvement this year is up significantly. Um, our survey indicated that 59% of the people that we interviewed said they were going to tackle some kind of home improvement project in 2017. So the four most popular uh, projects from our survey, number one was outdoor. So 40% of the people we surveyed said that they were going to tackle some kind of outdoor home improvement, whether it's an outdoor kitchen, uh, decks, patios, landscaping, that was a full 40%. Uh, another 33% said they were going to tackle some kind of home repair, including uh, upgrading home technology and home automation projects, uh, solar and energy efficiency. So that was, uh, that was number two. And then kitchen and bathroom remodels, each were about 25% of the, uh, the folks that we surveyed were gonna tackle some kind of project there. So we saw that millennials are now really starting to uh, spend a lot more time and energy around home improvement financing. Sort of makes sense, right? They're buying homes that tend to be older, uh, that probably don't have the types of features that they're looking for. And so they're spending time upgrading and updating uh, kitchens and bathrooms. They're adding technology features, home automation. Um, they're obviously very interested in energy efficiency and green building products. And so a lot of those things are now going into what millennials are tackling in and around home improvement. So the most important thing, as you mentioned, is budgeting, right? You have to be realistic about what you can afford and really what makes sense for you and your home. So setting a budget, getting multiple bids from contractors, um, and then being disciplined about it. So, you know, once you know what your project is, what's scoped inside your project, what's outside of your scope, being disciplined and then thinking about, all right, how am I going to pay for this? So in our survey, we saw that 60% of the people we surveyed said they planned on paying with savings or liquidating some kind of investment. Um, and that may make sense for smaller projects. But when 25% of the people we surveyed said that they were going to tackle a project of $10,000 or more, they might want to think twice about liquidating their savings to pay for that home improvement. Another 29% said they would pay for it using a credit card, which again is probably great for a smaller project. But if you're going to tackle a larger project, you might not want to pay for it with a higher interest rate credit card. And that's where Lightstream can be an opportunity. So if you're a consumer who has good credit, you can borrow up to $100,000 from Lightstream at interest rates that start at 4.29% and no fees. So it's a very simple process. You can apply online, get a credit decision in a couple of hours, and if you're approved, you can have up to $100,000 in your checking account as quickly as the same day. So you can start by going to lightstream.com. There you can see our interest rates um, and our terms. You can also find loan calculators to help you with the budgeting process, and our blog has articles and information about lots of different home improvement projects.